Now, what do you mean by scheduled status? Scheduled status means all steps required to create the job are completed. Scheduled, scheduled. Scheduled means whatever the steps required to define a job. Yes, those steps are finished, but we have not given the start condition. Start condition means we have not given the start date, start time, end date, end time, and what is the frequency of that particular job. We have not given all those things. So what do you mean by scheduled? If I will go to SM36 transaction code and show you there itself so that you can understand. If in SM36, we defined the steps of the background job. We defined the various steps of the background job, but we have not given the start condition. Start condition means we have not given the time at what time the job will start, at what time, yes, what is the start date, start time, what is frequency, frequency means what it will run after every one hour, after every five hours, after every 10 hours. So at that time, what is the status of the job? The status of the job is scheduled, scheduled. Now, what is released? Released means Yes, you finished everything with that particular job. It means you gave the start conditions also. So release status means all the steps, including the start conditions that are required for the job are finished. Just understand the difference between scheduled and released. In case of scheduled, yes, if you want to understand through system itself, in case of scheduled, you gave the various steps, means you gave the program name for which program you are creating the job, you gave the variant, but you have not given the start condition yet. So that is your scheduled status. But once you gave the start conditions also, including the start condition, it means the status of the job is released now, released. Now we will come on to next status. Now what is next status? Next status is ready, ready. Word itself is saying ready means job is ready for the execution, but it is not running because it has been put in the queue by the job scheduler. What is the meaning of this? Just now we covered. If the work process is not available at that point of time, it means what our background job is in the queue. Once the work process will be available at that time, yes, the scheduler will assign it to the work process. So ready means, yes, our background job is ready for the execution. But yes, work process is not available. So yes, it is waiting in the queue. Once the work process will be available, yes, it will be simply, simply go to the active status. Now, once the work process will be assigned, the background job will go to the active status. Active status means what? Jail job is currently running. The job is currently running and active. If the job is running at that point of time, you can never, never change the status of the job. Suppose if you think, yes, job is in the active status, and you want to cancel the job or finish the job, nothing. At that time, you cannot do anything with that particular job. Now we will go for the next status. Once the job is finished successfully, 
yes we will be able to see the status as finished it means the job is finished without any errors now the next status is cancelled cancelled it means the word itself is saying the job is cancelled and generally there are two reasons for the job to be the cancelled the one reason we forcefully cancelled the job at that time the status is cancelled and there might be some issue with the job during whenever the job is running some issue occur and because of that the job is cancelled and we can check the reason of the cancel with the help of job logs once we will do the practical i will show you the job logs also so what is the summary of this particular video in this video firstly we covered we have two important transaction codes what is first one sm36 sm36 it is simply simply used to define a background job or we can say to schedule a background job and with the help of sm37 we can check the status of the background job now after that yes background jobs are divided into three categories once you define the background job you need to assign the category class a category means those are high priority jobs whenever you will go for high priority jobs system will assign or reserve the work processes for the high priority jobs after that we have medium priority means class b category jobs once class a category jobs finished then the system will come on to class b category jobs and once class a and class b finished then system will come on to class c category jobs class c category means they are the low priority jobs now we have six status of the background jobs what is first one scheduled scheduled means you defined the steps for the background job but your start conditions are missing start conditions you have not given start condition means what what is your start date for the background job what is the start time what is the frequency frequency means hourly monthly weekly after every hour we have not given such start conditions now next is released release means you did everything which are which are required to define the job and that consist of your start conditions also start conditions means start date start time frequency etc we also provided those things next is ready ready status means yes the job is ready for the execution but yes it is in the queue it is waiting in the queue because the work process is not available active means our job is active and running and remember once the job is running at that time you cannot do anything you cannot change the status of the running job if the status is active after that finished once the job is finished the status is finished it means the job is executed successfully without any error and the last status is cancelled cancelled means the job cancelled due to majorly two reasons first reason we forcefully cancelled the job and second yes there are some issues with the job itself when the job was running and we can check the reason through the job logs now this is all about the theory part of background jobs in the next video we will start with the practical part for the same so that's it in this video thank you